Good evening. My name is Cole Smith. I'm with Amelia Johnson. And today we're talking about buying your first home. Okay, today, thanks for tuning into class today. I'm here with Amelia. Today she's going to introduce herself, what her background is, and then we're going to continue talking about being a first time home buyer, what are things you should consider? What are things to expect? What does the full process look like and how long it should take you? Well, um, my name's Amelia Johnson and I work with Tucker Realty. I am, most importantly, I'm a wife, daughter, friend, and dog mom. Um, but obviously my passion is selling homes. So my top three values are compassion, integrity, and loyalty. And those are things that drive my business. Compassion, integrity, and loyalty. I became a real estate agent because I was in the restaurant industry for 10 years. Working nights, 4 p.m. to 4 a.m. is not an ideal working schedule. Um, and I thought that it would give me wonderful flexibility um, and have a lot of free time. But I guess that was a joke because I am working all the time now. <laughs> um, but I at least have the freedom to control the business how I want to do it. So um, that has been a total blessing and offered me vacations and the time to travel and move to Washington State. Question, do you know what your mission is as an agent? My mission is to educate, especially when it comes to first time home buyers. Um, I think there is just an overall lack of education in the home buying industry, and I just want to empower people um, to be able to make the decision for themselves if it is the right time in their life to go ahead and make the jump. Bam. So let's actually use that to roll into our topic today. Um, a first time home buyer is someone who is purchasing for the first time or um, has not been on title in the past three years, which is something a lot of people are not aware of. So you told me first time home buyer, someone mm -hmm. purchased first, uh, uh, excuse me, purchased a home for the first time ever mm -hmm. or has not been title, been on title uh, for the last three years. So first and foremost, I think it is important to try and figure out how long you plan to be in a home. Are you planning on staying in the area for a long time? Um, or is this a temporary location for you? Um, for example, it would be military. I work with a lot of military buyers and that's something that is extremely important. If you're gonna be here two years, um, it's obviously a very different scenario than it would be if you plan to make this a forever home. So I think that's kind of the first place to start. Okay, fantastic. I wanna tag, tag along with you. Is when you're purchasing a home, 90% of people, according to Zillow, say that the home buying process is miserable, okay? The reason that is, is because when you purchase a home for the first time, you kind of have two sides of the real estate transaction, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. You have your real estate agent and then you have your loan officer. And what's really important about that is we're kind of the first step in the process, right? We gotta be able to fund your mortgage, right? So when you start the mortgage process, we're gonna ask for a lot of documentation, W-2s, income, mm -hmm. um, bank statements, pay stubs, right? You gotta get us all W-2s for the last few years. Then we gotta calculate your debt to income. What is your credit score? Are you ready to, to, to buy now with your credit score? Or are we gonna need to take a few steps to increase and better your, mm -hmm. your, credit, your credit score? So another thing to consider is, yes, it is a stressful process, but I think it's really important to maybe have these expectations you know, up front. Absolutely, and I think that it can be a stressful process and there's always things that are out of our control um, in anything in life, but this is why it's so important to find a good team that supports you and has your best interest in mind. So finding a realtor and a loan officer that work together really well and wanna support you and your goals is first and foremost. Man, that was a great answer. Closing costs and down payment. First off, what's the difference? Okay, so um, closing costs are the fees associated with purchasing a home. So you have title fees, escrow, taxes, insurance, all of these things that um, contribute what we call closing costs. Um, 
then down payment is something different. So a down payment is something that you may or may not have to pay depending on the loan type that you and your loan officer choose and what you qualify for. So there are different qualifications for different down payments that may assist you to qualify for a higher amount if need be in the transaction. I'm gonna tag along with you on that. When she talks about different programs, for example, we talked about a first time home buyer, right? Mm -hmm. A first time home buyer can use something called the FHA loan, right? It's only 3.5% down payment there are down payment assistance programs, forgivable and non-forgivable, right? But under first time home buyer, you only have to drop 3.5%. However, if it's a second home or if it's an investment property, you might have to come to the table with 20% down. And that is based on mm -hmm. the loan amount, right? So if you're, if you're looking at a $500,000 house, the down payment is gonna be a percentage of what, of what that cost is. Um, yeah, what were you going to say? Yeah, exactly. And when it comes to even a program like a VA program where you are zero down, um, you can still choose to do a down payment, and that does change your funding fee. Um, it can affect your interest rate and all of those things as well, too. So that's why it's so important to have a good team behind you that can build the transaction to work in your favor. Yes, and I'm going to tag along with you on that VA real quick. So when you talk about VA, it's 0% down on the house. However, there still are closing fees. Yes. Um, or excuse me, closing costs. There are still closing costs, and that originates from whether or not you have the funding fee, 30% or 30% uh, disability or higher, you, that funding fee is waived, right? But there's other closing costs when it comes to, do you have to bring to the table for other fees, like mm -hmm. we were just talking about title and escrow, um, and or lender fees, um, underwriting fees, any kind, of, any kind of that stuff. Escrow is a legal arrangement in which a third party temporarily holds money until particular conditions are met. So in this case, um, in the real estate transaction, we open escrow with a deposit whenever all parties agree on the terms of the contract. That money just goes into the holding account until we get to the closing table. Everyone signs off and everyone has met all of their actual conditions of the contract. And then that money gets put back towards the... Funding, yeah. Budgeting is something that is so important. And that doesn't mean you have to eat ramen noodles and be very frugal. It means be aware of where your money goes. Just write it down and pay attention to all the little things that you spend. And you can really come up with an idea of, okay, home buying is gonna be possible in 2023, or home buying is gonna be possible in 2025. As long as we sit down, we realize where the money is going and kind of make those goals, home buying is definitely attainable. Yes, and those goals are directly related to what you want. If I was to look at you and say, what do you want? Amelia, what do you want? Right, and you sit there and really think, what do I want? Those goals derive from, from that because- Absolutely, absolutely. And I think that not everyone wants to purchase a forever home, have it their dream home, and put all their money into it. Sometimes it's all about what makes the most financial sense at that point in your life, um, which could be a temporary home or a fixer upper, or different things like that. So um, I think that's why it's important to know your budget. Awesome. Amelia, thank you so much for being my guest on Lecture All the thank Day. You so Don't much. forget to download your free home buying brochure, subscribe to us, uh, let us know what you think, consider scheduling a call. Let's chat about home buying. Thank you so much. Thank we'll see you, you next class. Yeah. Bye.